Honourable Jo Goodhue. Mr Speaker, as I rise for this general debate today, I do so knowing that the feedback I'm getting from the people of my Rangitata electorate is that they are so grateful to a government that has its eye on the ball, that has its eye on the things that really matter to New Zealanders. So it's not what's the matter with New Zealanders, it's what matters to New Zealanders. And one of the most important things to them is that we have assisted their household, their families, through the global financial crisis, through the tough times, and they have come to understand that we have their interests at heart. So it is about responsibly managing the government's finances, because as I often say to people, I understand, as does this national government, that when we talk about government spending, it actually is their spending. It's their taxpayer money that we're spending. It is not some government money. It came out of the pockets of hard-working New Zealanders. It's actually about a more competitive and productive economy, because actually that's about jobs. That's about raising incomes. That's about raising the standard of living for the households of New Zealand. That's the sort of stuff where, in fact, the average household that understands they are spending so much less on their mortgages Order. under this national government than they ever done, did under the previous government can certainly get their heads around how that has helped them through this time. It's about the confidence that the people of Canterbury understand, because they know this government is backing them, is backing getting the rebuild bill done. And Canterbury is firing on all cylinders. I can tell you that Canterbury, the unemployment is low. In my part of Canterbury, I can tell you that we are now suffering from um, unease about skill shortages. So I would say to people in the rest of New Zealand, come on down, we've got a job for you. We'll look after you down our end of the country. But the thing I want to concentrate on today is the um, better public services and the targets. Because you see, this government, does not shy away from setting itself tough targets. Targets that will not be easy to achieve, that are not simply window dressing, because our government and New Zealanders understand that it's not about spend, 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 spend for the sake of spending. It's actually about getting some value for the money we spend. It really is. And we are certainly delivering because we are reducing crime. We do have measurable improvements in the health for New Zealanders. We are reducing educational underachievement and long-term welfare dependence. But long-term welfare dependence is something that the other side of the health House depend upon. They actually depend upon it to actually stay there and support them. But in fact, the targets we have actually set are quite hard to achieve. We've actually had to take some risks. On this side of the house, we've had to take some welfare dependence over there, is it? Welfare dependence over there, since that's what I'm actually talking about at the moment, and the member opposite calls out, we're over here. So long-term beneficiaries have fallen almost 3,000 to 75,300. That's in the past year. 3,000. Social workers in school scheme, well now they're implemented in the decile one to three schools, or 72% of low decile schools. That's making a real difference in those schools. But not only have we got um, social workers in schools, we've got social workers in every single DHB hospital. Now that makes a real difference. That makes a real difference. So if we want to look at some statistics that are truly, truly scary, 3,044 children experienced substantial physical abuse in the last year, in the year to March 2013. But actually, the good news is that's a reduction of 3.5%. So we are seeing, we are actually, all the members dreaming. The Vulnerable Children Bill received universal, unanimous support across the House. So that's something we can actually all agree on. But what 
we didn't see under the previous government is any jolly, um, any jolly improvement on it, any tough things. So when we went out around the country with a green paper, we said we want to hear the tough things that you think we should do to protect vulnerable children. We're having fantastic, we're having fantastic success when it comes to immunisation, elective surgery, cancer treatment, results, results, results under this government, where they were the members time under the has previous. expired. Grant Robertson. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. It's always